Okay, so we're going to look at arc length and sector area. So before Christmas, we looked at finding the area of a circle. So remember the area is pi r squared, and we'll find the circumference was 2 pi r. So arc length is just part of a circle. Sector area is just the area of part of a circle, like a pizza slice. So all we have to do is find well, what would the area be if that, or the circumference be if that was a whole circle, and then what fraction of the circle are we dealing with? Okay, so to get the fraction, we look at the angle. We know that in a whole circle, it's 360 degrees. So our fraction is whatever our angle is here, 60 over 360. So to get the length of the arc, so it's length, so it's circumference that we're dealing with. So circumference is 2 pi r. And our fraction is 60 over 360. So it's 60 over 360 by 2 by pi. And our radius then is 12. So we'll get our calculator 60 over 360 by 2, by pi, by 12, and we get that it's 4 pi. And remember, you can hit the wee SD button, and that gives us 12.6. It's length, so it's centimetres. Okay, the next one then is calculating the perimeter. So for the perimeter, we're going to need to find the arc length. And then also add on these two straight sides as well. Okay, so our arc is going to be our fraction, 82 over 360, times our circumference, so 2 times pi times 6. And again, get our calculator. So that's 82 over 360, our fraction, by the circumference, 2 by pi by 6. And we get 41 over 15 pi, which is 8.59 centimetres. So then the perimeter is going to be our 8.59, the arc length plus the radius here, which is 6. And then this is also a radius, so that's going to be 6 as well. So add that on, and we get 20.59 centimetres for the perimeter. Okay, the next one then, calculate the length of the arc of the sector, given your answer in terms of pi. So this time we're back to just the arc, so it's just the length here. So it's length, so it's circumference. So our fraction is 40 over 360. And our circumference, 2 pi r, so 2 by pi by 18. So again, we get our calculator, 40 over 360 times 2 times pi times 18. And it gives us 4 pi. Now this time we don't have to worry about hitting the way SD button. It says it wants it in terms of pi. So we just leave it as 4 pi. And remember our units. It's length. So it's centimetres. Okay. So our next one's then um, a wee bit harder. So the arc length of the se sector below is 4.4 centimetres. So this time it gives you the arc length. And we want to find the angle theta. So this symbol, if you haven't seen it before, um, it's a Greek letter and we tend to use it for if we don't know what the angle is. You might see X as well, but we tend to use theta for an angle. So our arc length, remember, is our fraction. So that's theta over 360 by 2 pi r. Okay, so put in what we know. We know the arc length is 4.4. And we know the radius is 6. Okay, so I'm going to bring this whole thing here over 
and divide by it. So 4.4 .4 divided by, now this is 2 by pi by 6, so that's 12 pi. So I'm going to divide 4.4 .4 by 12 pi. So again, on your calculator, you work it out and we get 0.1167. Now I want to get what theta is, so I'm going to need to bring this 360 over. So it's a divide by 360, so I'm going to bring it across and multiply by 360. I'm running out of room here. So it gives us 42.0 and it's an angle so our units are degrees. Okay so the next one then, a wee bit harder again. The perimeter of the sector is 57.32 so this time it's talking about the perimeter not just the arc length calculate the size of the angle. Well the first thing I want to know is well what is this arc length? And then I can do it the same way as I did the previous question. So I'm going to need to take away the two straight sides which are both 14 to get what the arc length is. So the arc is going to be 57.32 the whole perimeter take away 28 because we need to take away those two straight sides. So we get 29.32 centimetres. And now we do it in exactly the same way as we did the previous one. So our arc length, 29.32, equals our angle theta over 360. So that's our fraction by 2 by pi by r. Okay, so that's our circumference, 2 pi r. So again, we're going to bring this across and divide. So that's 2 by pi by 14, so that's 28 pi. So I'm going to divide by that, and we get 0.333. Again, I'm going to bring the 360 over. It's a divide by 360, so I'm going to bring it over. I times by 360. And I get that theta is 119.99. We'll round that up to 120 degrees. Okay, and our last wee one then. Um, it says the major arc length is 31.1. Find the length of x, the radius of the circle. Okay, so... If we look at this circle, it has got two arc lengths. Strangely enough, this one's called the minor one, the smaller one, and this one is called the major one. Okay, so our major arc length is this one here. So we're going to need to, first of all, find well, what is that angle in there. Now we know that the angle of a uh, circle add up to 360. So if we take 36 away from 360, we get that it's 324 in here. Okay, now again we fill in our formula with everything we know. So arc equals our angle over 360 by 2 pi r. So our arc length we know is 31.1. Time we know the angle, 324 over 360 by 2 by pi by x. So the x is what we're trying to find out. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is to take this, divide by 360 over to the other side and multiply. So 31.1 times 360 gives us 11196. Okay, and we're left on this side with 324 times 2 times pi. So 324 times 2 is 648 pi times our x. 
So I need to take the 648 pi across to the other side. So it's multiply on the right hand side. So when we take it across, it becomes a divide by. So we're going to divide 11196 divided by 648 pi. And I get that x is 5.5, and it's the uh, a length, so it's centimeters.